Black holes are amongst the most exotic objects in the universe and are often misunderstood as bottomless wells or holes. A black hole is a region of space where gravity is so strong that it captures anything that comes too close, even light. What makes leaves and apples fall from the trees and you land back on the ground when you jump? Gravity. Gravity is a force that makes objects move, bringing things together. Everything with mass has gravity. Stars, planets, moons and all the other objects in the universe have gravity and they all orbit around each other. For example, the Earth orbits around the Sun and the Moon orbits around the Earth and doesn't just fly randomly off into space. The more mass something has, the stronger the gravity. The Earth's gravity is stronger than the Moon's because it's more massive. So our bodies are pulled down more strongly on Earth than they are on the Moon. That's why an astronaut could jump more easily and higher on the Moon than here on Earth. The strength of gravity between two objects also changes with distance. The pull between Earth and the Moon is much greater than the pull between Earth and Jupiter. This is because the Moon is much closer than Jupiter. Albert Einstein described gravity as the curvature of space. Space is in all directions, up, down, left, right, backwards, forwards, and it can be visualised as a fabric, like a stretchy sheet. The stretchy sheet represents space. Any object with mass deforms space, just like a marble, creating a dimple on its surface. This curvature of space causes objects to interact with each other, often by moving towards each other, which is seen as gravity, a natural consequence of a mass influence on space. The more mass something has, the more the space is curved, and therefore, the more gravity there is. A black hole is a region of space where gravity is so strong that nothing can escape. Even light can't escape the pull of a black hole, and that is why they are invisible to us. The heavy marble represents a black hole. If we place light marbles, representing other objects in the neighbourhood of the black hole, they will roll towards the heavy marble, as if pulled by the black hole's extreme gravity. The extreme gravity of black holes enables it to accumulate more matter from its surroundings, such as other stars and even other black holes. Black holes can even be as massive as a million suns or more. These are called supermassive black holes. Supermassive black holes exist at the centres of most galaxies. One even exists at the centre of the galaxy that we live in, the Milky Way. What would happen to the Earth if our Sun became a black hole? Well, firstly, our Sun wouldn't turn into a black hole because it's not massive enough. But hypothetically, let's see what would happen if we replaced our Sun with a black hole of the same mass. The heavy marble represents a black hole. Let's check its weight. The aluminium ball represents our Sun. In this scenario, the mass of the Sun and that of the black hole are equal, but the Sun is much bigger than the black hole. Let's focus on the area of the sheet that is very close to the heavy marble or aluminium ball. Curvature created by the heavy marble is more steep than created by the aluminium ball, even though they have the same mass. The small marble acts as the Earth. The Earth is far away from the Sun, and so would be with respect to the black hole. The Earth would hence orbit the black hole in exactly the same way as it moves around the Sun. Only very close to the black hole, gravity becomes extreme. How do we know black holes exist if we cannot see them? When a black hole is feeding on matter within its vicinity, that material can become very bright, allowing its detection in a phenomena called accretion. As this material spirals in towards the black hole, it orbits faster and faster and interacts with other spiraling material, getting heated and forming a bright, flattened ring called an accretion disk. For black holes that are not feeding and cannot be observed via their accretion disks, the presence of a black hole can be revealed by the effect of its gravity on nearby objects that are apparently orbiting around nothing. 
Therefore, astronomers can assume that there is a black hole there. Additionally, black holes are evident through an optical effect called gravitational lensing. This is the result of the extreme gravity of a black hole bending light. Light normally travels in a straight line in space, but due to the black hole's extreme gravity, which is the curvature of space, light passing nearby a black hole will travel along this curvature instead of growing straight. Therefore, black holes can act as a lens, bending any light passing by. The candle is a distant light source, for example, a star or a galaxy. The glass base represents the effect of something invisible, like a black hole, in front of the distant light source. The invisible black hole distorts the path of the light before it reaches us. The light from the candle is distorted and forms a ring or arc of light. The distorted images mimic the gravitational lensing phenomenon observed by astronomers using telescopes, despite no observation of any perturbing mass. This indicates the presence of the invisible black hole, changing the curvature of space and causing the phenomenon. Although black holes are invisible, they can be and are observed by astronomers.